guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Victoria, um, aka Differently Labeled, if you're new here. Hi, welcome, if you're returning, thank you so much again. Um, yeah, so this is my January faves and fails. First time including a fails in here, I have two. So it's not too many, but sure. Okay, let's get into it. So my first faves are gonna be skincare. So my first fave, first thing I wanna talk about is this watermelon glow recipe. Uh, glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask. It's so good. Um, I put this on before my shower. So I just put on a little bit. Um, and this is the travel size, by the way. And I just put that on before I shower and then I wash it off in the shower. Um, and it's really great for like smoothing my skin. I really feel like it brightens my skin. Um, yeah, it's just like really good. I definitely want to try more from them. Um, they have like an avocado sleeping mask with retinol, so that might be really nice. I need to up my retinol game, so might be trying that soon. And so the next item I have is the Glossier Feature Do, and we love to be dewy over here. It's nothing better. Um, and yeah, this is an oil serum hybrid, so this is supposed to go under your makeup or even over your makeup as a liquid highlighter. I haven't tried it as a liquid highlighter. Um, it's something I definitely want to do. Um, but yeah, I think it's really glowy. Um, I think it could be a little glowier, so maybe trying it over makeup could be really nice. Um, yeah, so this was really great. I love this. Um, I definitely want to try more light skincare items from Glossier. I don't really think this is super skincare, but I put this under my makeup, so... Hmm, a primer? I don't know. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I really like this, it's pretty good. So my next item is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist, and this is just beautiful. Um, I don't have, I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but I think it's so pretty. It just really sets the makeup really beautiful. It just leaves you looking really fresh and dewy but like naturally dewy, um, it just really, it's really good at like melting your makeup and I don't know, they kind of hit it out of the park with this. So yeah, I like that. Moving on to makeup, the next items I have here are hey, highlighters. So these are from Kaleidos Makeup, which is an indie brand and I have the shade Star Surfer which is like a pinky shade, and I have the shade Solar Sailor. And these are just so, like, look at that. That's crazy. And I'll do the pink one too, which is Star Surfer. Yeah, it's just so reflective and beautiful. And these really like melt into the skin. I don't know. They just have such a pretty effect and the packaging is probably like the prettiest packaging I've seen. It's like a kind of rubbery texture. I don't know, like a tin kind of can. It feels kind of futuristic but has that cool like vintage vibe. Um, yeah, and the packaging is just really gorgeous. Um, but they're such a great brand. I feel like I haven't tried their um, uh, eyeshadow palettes, but I hear people raving about them all of the time. Yeah, there's just really, really great highlighters and they just blend, they look really skin-like. Um, they don't emphasize texture. They're just really buttery. So I really like this. Favorite is something for the eyes. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Quads. And I have the shade, I think this is Astral Pink. And yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. 
Um, I'm wearing long sleeves today, so I don't know if I'll be able to swatch these. Maybe I'll insert swatches. And these are her glitter topper um, formula. Really terrible <laughs> um, swatches, but you guys get the gist. It's just really like a pinky glittery shade. All of these are her glitter formula um, that also come in her big packaging. Um, with her, I think, like, eight or ten size pack, like, eyeshadow palettes. I don't know, but these are really beautiful, and if you want to try Pat McGrath, I think this is an amazing way to try her, like, most special formula. I really like her mattes, but I think her mattes are comparable to Natasha Denona mattes that, that are just, like, impeccable to me. Um, I'm really blown away. But yeah, I think this is a great way to try Pet My Graph if you haven't already. And I don't think you'd be disappointed. The month is another Pet My Graph item, actually. It's her matte trance, um, her Lux trance, excuse me, lipsticks in the shade Sorry Not Sorry. And this is just a beautiful everyday kind of pinky shade pinky plummy shade and I don't know it's like your lips but better for us dark skin deep skinny girls out there yeah and this is just like a great formula it's kind of matte but still kind of creamy it's just a really good everyday lip I feel so my next fave is another makeup fave the last makeup fave and it's by likely makeup um, and it's her new fairy blush palette. This cute little fairy and she designs all of this beautiful packaging. And Likely Makeup is made in Canada. And it's cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. I do have her other clown blush palette which is beautiful. Um, and these just have just really beautiful, soft, springy colors. And I can't wait to try this for spring. I'm kind of thinking about a spring, um, like eyeshadow, uh, my favorite spring eyeshadow palettes. So I think this would be perfect. Even though this is a blush palette, these are eye safe as well. And I think they're so pretty. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, and they actually show up on deeper skin. So I am going to swatch these. Look at that pigmentation. These are terrible. I'm so sorry. But yeah, look at that. It's just like, hello pigment. Hi, how are you? Welcome to my face. Um, yeah, I love these. They're gorgeous. By Light Lacquer. And it is, that is a company from Kathleen Lights here on YouTube. She's wonderful. Um, and this is the shade Emerald. And this is the best nail polish formula I've ever tried. Like, and I don't paint my nails, you know? I'm not like a paint my nails every week girl. I am, I'm trying to be her. She's on the horizon. I see her, but like, this is fabulous. Like literally one coat, so like 100% opaque. It's insane. And they have other really good uh, shades as well. But this one is just like, the, the green one is just like crazy. If you love green, if you love a beautiful emerald color, you would like, It's really the best. It's crazy. It's insane. My new bullet journal! Yay! So, I have started bullet journal. I have not finished it. Um, but yeah, bullet journaling is my new fave activity. It's so great. I got this big journal off of Amazon. It's Moleskine. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited for my 2020 bullet journal goals and dreams and organization. Very exciting. Yes. 
Okay guys, so my fave, no, my fails. So now it's time for my fails of the month. And I only have two, which is kind of good, I guess. I was super trying a lot of things. So my first fail is the Becca Under Eye Brightening, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So I heard Samantha Ravindal raving about this and I wanted to try it. And yes, and this is the medium to deep. And I was like, oh goodness, Samantha, our makeup savior um <laughs> is raving about this it must be so good so i got it and i have dark circles as you guys can see and it was not amazing it didn't really brighten but i do think this is too light for my skin tone and it's weird because this is the medium to deep so i don't know what the deal about that is i think it would be great if they came out with another color that's just a bit peachier and a bit deeper than this otherwise i would definitely be up to trying it it just didn't work for me and so my last fail is the canty shea butter for natural hair extra hold edge stay gel um i thought i used this to braid my hair because i was like oh okay it's gonna like slick it down it's gonna like control my 4c hair edges, whatever, and this gave me weird, like, pimples. I was not into it. So if you ever see this and you're like, ooh, maybe, don't. Don't do it. Save your money. It's real cheap, but, like, it just flakes and it's just not cute. Not cute. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like to see my face again, um, like this video if you liked these faves along with me. If you didn't like these fails, I would love to hear from you. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!